so science and technology is more about predictability more about facts more of static thing but we worry about it honestly i am telling you for this class of 1 and 1/2 hour to 2 hours with my 15 years of experience with 6 hours of work i did for this 2 hours of section 6 hours of work selected 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 so it will be continued the same classes will be continued with science and technology so first i will tell you the number prelims is all about number game out of 100 questions approximately 20 questions from indian polity approximately 20 questions from economy science, current affairs added to it 15 questions from geography 5 to 7 questions from environment and history 25 questions ancient medieval modern art and culture these all together 25 questions and current affair related but science and technology consistently science and technology consistently they maintained the number 2020 22 2022 2021 2022 2019 2018 11 12 13 11 12 13 consistently they maintained the question the chance of getting right is 100% why because it is static it is fixed in that the main part of questions which we have been asked is information communication technology which constitutes quantum mechanics which constitutes computing which constitutes robotics which constitutes technology 1g 2g 3g 4g 5g which constitutes communications information communication technology 2022 five questions were been asked 2 3 3 3 means consistently they are asking somewhere between somewhere between 3 to 5 compulsory from information and communication technology first understand the questions pattern so information communication technology 3 to 5 questions were been asked in that what are all the topics which are there i will be telling you next space 2022 2021 to last 5 years is enough last time only one 3 2 1 3 so somewhere around space is 1 2 3 it is from 1 2 3 then biotechnology everyone know that science and technology became synonymous with biotechnology but science and technology is not just biotechnology it's more than biotechnology but biotechnology questions are consistently 5 4 4 5 means 5 questions are from biotechnology so now what the general aspirants or what the people will do now now we go into virus now we go into bacteria now we go into parasite now we go into fungi now we go into protozoans now we go into genetic engineering now we go into dna recombinant technology these all are not necessary to the point current affairs oriented biotechnology we need to do so biotechnology five questions they are asking about then defense defense previously they used to ask questions like prithvi range agni range etc defense weapons they used to ask till 2020 they asked one one question but however one question is a big question again they can repeat why because defense sector is important sector for the country so defense we can have one general science most important again general science means not physics not chemistry not biology again we should not sit reading physics chemistry biology we have to understand general science means generally generally if this much temperature crosses what is the chance of occurrence of cold if the temperature increases what is the chance of occurrence of sweat at what temperature sweat comes out at what temperature we feel shivering that is general science there is no requirement of reading biology there is no requirement of reading physics or chemistry we should not go into that we have to understand where it starts melting where it starts becoming ice such type of general things for that i will give you one book also now we will be giving one pdf please you will get this this content for general science one book is there i will deliver information to you hindu newspaper itself released one book in 2017 facts on general science hindu newspaper at that now they are not doing it but see general science will be static or dynamic general science nature physics chemistry biology will be static or dynamic 
it will be static melting boiling dew point this all will be static fixed that book you can buy hindu newspaper book it is it will orange in color hindu facts nearly 200 pages are there worth reading i read it worth reading it is that is general science 2 3 3 2 1 so overall 2 to 3 questions are from general science 2 to 3 questions are from general science and finally it is energy energy earlier we got in 2020 we got in 2018 but expected energy mainly renewable energy unconventional energy sources unconventional energy sources biodiesel these are energy resources these are expected so you have to focus more upon this five topics six topics information communication technology space biotechnology defense general science and energy properly for example we will take previous years questions 2022 how they asked the questions 2022 recently consider the following statements considering the following developments which of the above are built on top of the open source digital platform open source digital platform you don't know that subject you are a layman open source in some universities like iits nits there is there will be exams like open book exam do you know open book exam means they will give the book they will give very random question for that question we need to write an answer by seeing the books we have to mobilize the resources we have to take the content and accordingly we have to make an answer that is called as open book means what does it mean everyone can make an answer anyone can make an answer they can make answer according to them they can edit the answer according to them means what open source is democratic or not open source is democratic tell me what are democratic sources open sources which are available in information technology wikipedia whether you can amend it whether you can edit wikipedia everyone can edit wikipedia i can also edit wikipedia you can also edit wikipedia so open sources which is open to everyone which is visible to everyone which can be edited by everyone is called as open source anyone can open it without any license whether we required any license whether we have to pay any money arogya setu everyone have this app earlier whether it is an open source or closed source closed source means we want license we have to pay the fees some restrictions will be there arogya setu was open just otp no that otp is for data privacy it is arogya setu was open or closed open covin when we want vaccination injection then we will go for covin open or closed open digi locker i can download the app you can download the app digi locker where my electronic documents are present diksha what is diksha electronic source of education books are available openly it is available so which of the above are built on top of open source digital platform means we have to understand the meaning of open source upsc preparation is all about words for example pradhan mantri awas yojana if i am from tamil medium i am from tamil person one tamil person is there one hindi person is there awas means what house awas means house pradhan mantri awas yojana in options it is clearly mentioned that pradhan mantri awas yojana is related to what number 1 construction of house number 2 drainage facility number 3 education number 4 health tamil person didn't studied hindi person didn't studied but who will answer the question it's all about words first we have to understand that term first we have to understand the word so open source digital open openly available these all are openly available gmail open or closed open facebook open instagram open anyone phone number and gmail are not that is that those are just for data privacy that's it open source platforms similarly one more question now we see there is a revolution called as industrial revolution 4.0 similarly there is something called as web 3.0 there is a web 3.0 with reference to web 3.0 consider the following statements consider the following statements web 3.0 technology enables people to control their own data now you see web 1.0 only in the beginning 1970s in usa 1990s in india very closed very restricted 
web 1.0 1990s 2000s when we are opening website going to a internet center itself was opening our website itself is very tough task taking a result compulsory we will 10 rupees give my result means we have to stand in line then he used to give the result sheet the the website was so much closed so web 1.0 is what closed then web 2.0 came by 2005 2006 2007 2008 till 2014 15 google facebooks they are the platforms we are controlled by them we are controlled by them web 3.0 now you tell me whether every individual can have his own website nowadays whether every individual can have his own data on the cloud whether every individual can have his own space in the cloud earlier we depended upon closed systems then we depended upon some platforms then we had our own platforms so web 3.0 chronologically with my common sense i got this point web technology enables people to control their own so i am opening my own website whether opening a website is a tougher task now no so my data is controlled by myself number one number two in web 3.0 there can be blockchain based social networks see when i am controlling my own data there is a chance that i can misuse the internet also so which is associated with blockchain technology what is blockchain technology nothing but history transaction blockchain technology is nothing but having a history transaction so for in web 3.0 how we are protected or how we are saved from piracy or etc etc by bio blockchain technology what is this blockchain technology everything is is history everything is part of history second also correct if not if it is not history what will happen there will be no record no when there is no record there is a chance of misuse web 3.0 is operated by users by myself or sometimes i will become a group of a team collectively rather than a corporation what was corporation earlier google web 2.0 was controlled by corporation now web 3.0 is controlled by myself or by my team or by a self help group by a group of people with voluntarily we form a group so without uh, what we are using on daily basis 2022 questions what we are using on daily basis technology we have to wait one minute in the examination hall if you are writing any mock test also if science and technology questions are coming mainly with respect to technology not with respect to biotechnology biotechnology you have to read why because biotechnology is static whereas technologies which we are using we are applying on daily basis when we are applying on daily basis which it is asked theoretically then compulsory we will be in a position to answer it so answer is what 1 2 and 3 next we will see this is 20 20 question 2020 previous question only this is this must be question so everyone frightened later i will come but this is the most easy question everyone know when the alarm of your smartphone rings in the morning you wake up and tap it to stop the alarm or we throw the phone if it is nokia 1100 if it is iphone please keep you wake up and tap it to stop the alarm which causes your geyser to be switched on automatically when you off the alarm automatically when you offed it the information went to the geyser and the geyser is on the smart in your bathroom shows the day's weather and also indicates the level of water in your overhead tank after you take some groceries from your refrigerator for making breakfast it recognizes shortage of stock in it and places an order for supply of fresh grocery items or when i come inside all the lights will be on when i lock the door all the lights will be off what is this whether broader gateway protocol this is very big word this might be correct answer broader gateway protocol internet of things internet protocol virtual private network what is the answer internet of things internet of things the machines themselves will understand and the machines they will be working according to the circumstances called as internet of things for example automatically controlled temperature acs automatically only one uniform temperature they will be maintaining without operating by us internet of things machines are working like human beings is called as internet of things so what is the answer internet of things so we will not read this question well reading also this much big question means upsc had created a trap so i will not read this 
or this this is a very big word new word this might be a correct answer see science and technology 2021 question it is we will see another question artificial intelligence what is artificial intelligence what is artificial intelligence artificial intelligence is nothing but machine will be thinking like a man artificial intelligence is machine will be thinking like a human being is called as artificial intelligence for example if i open a facebook if i open a facebook and when i am moving down down if i am opening some videos and i am watching tomorrow again i open which videos will come only that videos will come why because i am interested in that machine understood that this person is watching this particular classes or this particular videos so i will show the same so machine is understanding us and machine is providing us which doesn't have a brain but it is showing its intelligence it is called as artificial intelligence there is a very big conspiracy on china what is a very big conspiracy on china is it, it, it is levied by european countries it is also in wto this case is in wto european union had filed a case in wto saying that the tiktok platform is showing china related china patriotism human relations in tiktok when they are moving but coming to other countries europe north american countries no relations no no proper videos or showing such things which disturbs the behavior of the individuals intentionally they are showing means the machine is operating what i should see and what i should not see who is controlling me machine is controlling me that is called as artificial intelligence now we will see to the question with present state of development artificial intelligence can effectively do which of the following bring down electricity consumption in industrial units yes or no smart water smart water types ghmc gave smart water types do you know greater hyderabad municipal corporation as well as bruhan mumbai corporation also provided smart taps what is that every day 100 liters you can take after 100 liters a meter will be associated from 100 liters onwards it will be charged now you tell me after 100 liters whether i will be using it or i will be i will be over using it or i will be rationing it who is controlling that machine whether i am controlling or machine itself is controlling the things number 1 it is correct bring down electricity consumption in industrial units as well as household also create meaningful short stories and songs sometimes in our google photos all photos will come like a who created we don't know <laughs> suddenly the it will come with a song also a background music also will come artificial intelligence disease diagnosis with respect to temperature with respect to temperature artificial intelligence a person should come inside or not he will keep something here we are not seeing nowadays earlier if the temperature is high you get out from here disease diagnosis who is telling artificial intelligence text to speech conversation text to speech conversation wireless transmission of electrical energy these all are what see first we have to understand the application of those technologies when we understand the application of those technologies which we use in our daily life they that the same questions they will ask in this format we will be discussing all the things what all i will be discussing web 3.0 national strategy on blockchain technology 2021 internet of things cryptocurrency near field communication technology radio frequency identification technology rfid 5g technology evolution from first generation to fifth generation there is a rules prelims compulsory every year one question is asked if they missed in prelims they are asking in mains rules waste rules electronic waste rules municipal solid waste rules the rules which came within last 2 3 years compulsory they are asking questions on that basis information technology intermediary guidelines and digital media ethics code rules 2021 it rules 2021 what are the rules personal data protection law 2019 every time it is in the news it will be in news national policy on electronics 2019 national broadband mission see again you have to understand one more thing technology we have to understand like a layman the government efforts you have to understand why because you are going to write a bureaucratic exam 
you are not going to become an Indian engineering service officer, so do not go deeper into the technology. Internet of things, how it works, what is algorithm, I will write an algorithm, I will write a code. National broadband mission, newer one. This is a new government scheme which is associated with Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi networks, Prime Minister Vani, DigiLocker. In that way, we will be discussing all these things, quantum mechanics, almost all the expected topics we will be doing and we will be covering also the same. First, Web 3.0. Web 3.0, there is an evolution. Web 1.0, in India, 1990, Web 2.0, 2000 and now web 3.0 2015 onwards 2020 we have web 3.0 web we used to have only gmail html based websites later we got dot net etc etc earlier what was the website wordpress was also not there there was no wordpress only html driven very closed to open a website also we need to have a password to open a website in 1990, if you remember, to open a website also we need to have a password, means completely closed. Web 1.0, web 2.0, the services, the web services, the web services are provided by a platform like Google, like Yahoo, that is web 2.0. A third party is providing the services of internet. Third, I myself became a provider. Individual became a provider, web 3.0, web 1.0, web 2.0, web 3.0 understand in a simple words that is it that is web 3.0 which is decentralized why because who is controlling my data I am controlling so it is a decentralized thing but what is necessary when it is decentralized it should be regulated for regulation what we need we need history that history is what blockchain technology so we have blockchain technology we have our own source open source we we are ourselves are the regulators we are the owners of the platform that is web 3.0 next that is it completed web 3.0 national strategy on blockchain technology what is blockchain technology blockchain technology is nothing but an historical transactions a record of transactions is called as blockchain technology mainly helping helpful in banking so that economical fraud, banking fraud will not happen. National strategy on blockchain technology 2021. Government strategy, you have to read it, you should know about it. What are there in this particular strategy? I will come to the doubts later. The data structure used in biotechnology maintain an manageable, unchangeable record of transactions in a time sequential manner. Yes or no? Yesterday's record whether I can change, that is the beauty of history. We cannot edit it. If you edit it, it's fraud, finish. Anyone can edit it. The, the, the good thing about the blockchain technology is it cannot be edited. It's fixed. When it is fixed, we can find the errors. We can find the fraud. That is the only benefit of blockchain technology. Who is control? Prelims point of view. Ministry of Environment Information Technology is controlling it. Blockchain technology is under the control of Ministry of Electronics Information Technology. That for the creation of shared blockchain infrastructure and offering blockchain as a service. Blockchain as a service means, I will tell you, I am Jomato. I am Jomato. I am buying from Bavarchi every day. You tell me, now, when I open Jomato, which hotel it will be visible for me? Bavarchi will be visible. If I want to check 10 days back what was the price and now what is the price, there should be a history. So, if I want to maintain the history, I need to have server. Every individual cannot buy the server. Servers take space. Servers are very, very costly. For example, we have app. Our apps are not with us. Sorry, our servers are not with us. Our app we outsourced from one particular platform which is called as class plus it's an a it's a software providing service providing company like act like geofiber it is a service provider for institutions in the form of an app whether they have servers they also don't have servers why the servers are very very costly takes lot of space 
so what they did they also took on rent what amazon servers so our recorded videos you will be watching no it is not with us it is not with class plus it is with amazon so you tell me if i want to know your history so what are courses how many classes you are listening whether you are attending or not whether you are watching the classes or not okay you are not attending the live at least you are attending the recorded videos or not if i want to check then what i will do i will write a letter mail to the app class plus this people will get information from amazon they will provide this is called as blockchain technology i will have accessibility only up to one month not more than one month so complete history will be with servers that maintenance of history is called as blockchain technology and that blockchain technology servers blockchain as a service blockchain as a service will be provided by the government not by the private players now you tell me if my blockchain my blockchain information if it is with the private people if it is with the government who where it is safe so this strategy is telling that simple in simple words this strategy is telling that the blockchain technology should be under the control of governments it's a, it's a strategy it's very it's impossible why because it takes lot of money it takes lot of area youtube people youtube people if they are having servers everything is cloud but some will be there with villages village big big villages they will be having servers so this blockchain as a service provider now onwards should be under the control of indigenous platform identified best practices integration with important national level service such as dg locker associated with whom nascom with the help of nascom these are very very important associated with nascom or sidb one statement will be associated with nascom another statement will be associated with sidb answer is associated with nascom the strategy of national blockchain technology is telling that now it is a responsibility of the government to have blockchain as a service that is said internet of things internet of things who those who are engineering students they will know gsm based services will be there gsm based services if you are going home if you send a message ac will be on if you say gsm based if you are going home by the time you go into the home everything should be like mainly in gulf countries it should be cool directly from my ac car i will be entering into my house so that temperature and my ac tem my car temperature should be same then before i go it should be on how it can be on internet of things a message will be sent internet of things interlinking of digital devices phone people i initially i will only operate initially who should operate people only people machines with one another through a wireless network it is called as internet of things so the machines themselves will be identifying and they will be providing the services is a part of internet of things that's it nothing more no technical no technicalities by using what internet by using what internet so services will be provided by the things the services will be provided by the instruments by using internet which are useful for human being according to his conveniences internet of things it's a computing concept describes the idea of everyday physical objects being connected to the internet being able to identify for example body area network wearables we have fitness watches fitness watches how many calories burned how it will tell internet of things i i am doing physical workout but the watch is telling how many calories has been burned internet of things smart homes before i go into the home acs are on internet of things connected cars before i enter it takes a reverse and it will stand on the platform internet of things smart cities internet of things when rain comes if we had a shed like thing if rain is not there a shed like thing is not open without manual without operation of manual it is called as internet of things so internet of things are it can be wearables it can be smart homes it can be smart cities it can be connected to cars or any other devices that is internet of things next cryptocurrency what is cryptocurrency who will tell me an answer what is cryptocurrency 
earlier in whatsapp your message is encrypted naya tha tha ending earlier it is not used to come now it is coming ending with crypto what is it means our message is encoded with a formula encoded with some encryption means encoded with some symbols encoded with some other words so that other person cannot understand only the target beneficiary can answer it is called as encryption 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 crypto so i will be having a digital money i am having a digital money of 1000 rupees so that 1000 rupees i will be encrypting it like just for your understanding aakasham neelanga undi other person also come and tell that ah aakasham neelanga undi lekapothe money laundering how many movies we saw sagam note inko sagam note rendu galsene money laundering it's encryption it's a human encryption this is digital encryption encryption of currency encryption of digital currency is called as cryptocurrency whereby the code which i know and the code which you know when we are transacting it is called as cryptocurrency it's very dangerous it can be used for any other purpose it's dangerous but however unfortunately this has been become very much popular in south american continent north american continent in southeast asia almost in almost all the casinos everything is running by this cryptocurrency lot of examples are there bitcoin leo coin etc etc so what is important for your exam cryptocurrency is 2017 2018 but what is important is government of india came up with a bill government of india came up with a bill which is called as cryptocurrency and regulation of official digital currency bill 2021 government of india came up with a bill you are a bureaucrat you want to know about the bill you know you if you go into cryptocurrency you will be cryptocurrency is earlier banned but supreme court of india recently told that it is not banned it is legal only in india one more example i am telling you or one more one more one more information cryptocurrencies are legal in india ban private digital currencies favor rbi backed currency means it banned completely private digital currencies there should not be private digital currencies but digital currencies which are backed by the rbi will be legalized first one there should not be and means what see we both are software engineers i will keep one code for 1000 rupees and i will send you the code so that you can get one 1000 rupees or not it is called as private digital currency so this bill is telling that completely ban on private digital currency and those private digital currencies are accepted if it is supported by rbi two points we got most important points number 1 completely ban on private digital currencies number 2 those favored by rbi can be continuous digital currency number 2 a 3 to 6 months of exit period will be given for those currencies when it become an act it is what it's a bill when it become an act a time period of 3 to 6 months will be given so within 3 to 6 months what are pending are there you close it and you can go away i will i am not telling immediately by from tomorrow 1000 rupees notes and 500 rupees notes will be banned i am not telling like this what i am telling the bill is telling that 3 to 6 months of grace period will be provided so that you can take away the currencies which you have so that patiently you can go out second third point fourth supreme court what it told in 2021 it is accepted by rbi and rbi told that cryptocurrencies are legal but it should be favored by rbi these are the four points number 1 private digital currencies are banned number 2 rbi favored or accepted those private digital currencies which will be banned will be given a grace period of 3 to 6 months status of cryptocurrency this is what bill means it if it is act it is under implementation but now it is bill means what today also cryptocurrencies are in force for cryptocurrencies to make it legal the government of india impose 30% of tax 
if i am doing trading on cryptocurrency if i am doing buying goods and services by using cryptocurrency what will be the tax 30% if 30% is imposed means is legal or illegal legal no i am imposing 30% of the tax means it is legal then only i will impose present status 30% tax is there all the holders of cryptocurrencies will have to disclose the number of holdings and the details of their deposits with the rbi rbi has launched its digital currency recently launched or not any name for it any name for it online people recently e rupee e rupee rupee e rupee electronic rupee e rupee near field communication technology nfc previous year question this is but again it is in the news near field communication technology which will run on bluetooth there is something called as line of sight if this here the sensor is there the person who cannot operate what he will do but where the sensor is there it is moving this is called as line of sight two things are there near field communication radio frequency identification near field communication real field communications which are on line of sight it can be maximum up to 1 meter maximum up to 1 meter for example what barcode in our shopping malls what is that whether he will keep in line of sight or somewhere else line of sight is near field communication which will run on bluetooth number 1 number 2 fast tag you tell me fast tag whether it is on line of sight or whether it is very near you tell me whether it will shoot or if it is near only it will attract near only it will not shoot it will not be in line of sight it will come near we will move our car then it will come near by then rfid <coughs> fast tag run on rfid what is rfid rfid is a three dimensional code whereas barcode is what how we have barcode in lines in sh shopping complex whether they will be in lines or whether in a qr code lines barcodes barcodes are two dimensionals which are in parallels which are in lines which should be in line of sight that is near field communication which run mainly on bluetooth rfid radio frequency identification which run out of line of sight either by bluetooth or by wifi there is no requirement of line of sight maximum distance can be 5 meters that is the reason when we go near the device itself the fast tag will open the gate and we will move on that is a major difference between near field communication and radio frequency identification these are the two things which you have to understand upsc interview favorite question difference between barcode rfid and near field communication run on electromagnetic radio waves electromagnetic radio waves there also rfid also will run on electromagnetic radio waves both are the same waves waves are also important in the previous year question so nfsc near field communications on electromagnetic radio waves as well as rfid is also on electromagnetic radio waves within very short distance sometimes physically touch nokia released the first nfsc enabled phone in 2007 now apple introduced tap to pay on the iphone means we will bring near it then they will send it then we will tap it our gmail when we are opening whether it will ask no yes or no it's me when we press it's me then only it will open without any without any waves without any reader or without any code it's just a passing because of internet because of internet but this near field communication apple in 2022 came up with every apple phone without internet if the device is very near without internet if the device is very near it will send and we will accept the money will be transferred apple came up with this tap to pay 2018 google came with tap to pay near field communication radio frequency identification tax and readers tax and readers if they are on line of sight it is called as near field communications if there are not line of sight it is called as radio frequency that's it 
it will run near field communication run only on bluetooth whereas rfid can run on bluetooth as well as wi-fi both are electromagnetic radio waves both run on electromagnetic radio waves everything it might be a shopping complex everywhere we go nowadays everything is rfid but rfid is costly 5g technology what do you know about 5g technology yes what is 5G technology, what is 1G technology, 2G technology, 3G technology, 4G technology, 5 g How it got categorized? First generation computer, second generation computer, third generation computer, we know. First generation computers are called? First generation computers. First generation computers. Vacuum tubes. Second generation, we studied fifth class. Second generation computers. Second generation computers. Third, now we are in which generation computer? You have a computer now? Which generation? Similarly, we have, with respect to technology, we have five generations. First generation, second generation, third generation, fourth generation, fifth generation. With respect to speed, with respect to wide area two things with respect to speed with respect to wide area how much area i am controlling for example i will tell you in your wi fi 2g one one will show 5g another will show yes or no what is difference what is difference tell in applications ah ah uh, uh, 2g is long range 5G is speeder, range is more when it's older versions, older generations, when the generations are new, the speed is more. So, with respect to the speed as well as with the range, with respect to wide, the generations are changing. First generation, second generation, third generation, fourth generation and finally, it is fifth generation. We will see. I will come back. 1G, 1980 worked on analog radio signals supported only voice calls 1g 2g speed also i will tell 2g 1990s digital radio signals both voice and data transmission with a bandwidth of 64 means weight first generation is only voice second generation is voice and data transmission third generation 2000s with a speed of 1 m means mega bits or bytes mega bits per second to 2 mega bits per second and it has ability to transmit telephone signals including digitized voice videos and conferencing we can have video con 3g phones 4g with a peak speed of 100 mbps to 1 Gbps, it also enables 3D virtual reality. For example, I will tell you. Narendra Modi, in election campaign of 2019-2014, he is the first person who used 4G technology. What? He was present in Darwad, Karnataka. At the same time, Tumkur, Mangaluru, the meetings were being conducted, same day, but he was not possible. He was he, physically he was not present. Then what he did? He used this 4G technology and his visions were being present there. So, what he is delivering the sp speech in Darwad, the same is also visible, the same is present live at Thumkur as well as in Mangaluru by using 4G. That is called as three dimensional virtual reality. Virtually he is present. Virtually means not real. Virtually means not real. Virtual reality is 4G technology. Then you tell me what might be the 5G? Now you come back and think what might be the 5G? What might be 5G? First is speed. 5G is first is speed. Next, first is speed. Something extra might be there. Three dimensional we had, virtual reality we had, another extra what we can have? Augmented reality. What is augmented reality? Metaverse also we will discuss. Augmented reality means what? Reality which is more than expectation. 
3D glasses. 3D glasses and augmented reality when we play, when we keep our 3D glasses and when we do video games as if we experience it, it is called as augmented reality. In 5G, in 4G, we have virtual reality, in 5G, we are going to have augmented reality. 30 to 300 frequency of speed, 20 gigabits per second, it will much faster as compared to speed users. There will be 100x increase in traffic capacity, network efficiency and one more thing which is added here is augmented reality. The reality which is more than it is called as augmented reality. 1G, only voice. 2G, voice as well as data, no video. Voice and data transfer. 3G, voice, video, conferencing. Next, plus virtual reality plus virtual reality, 5 virtual reality plus augmented reality, speed, first one, 1G, 1G, only voice calls, voice calls, there is no requirement of any frequency, More, same like our Trump calls, second is 64 kpbs, third is 1 mbbs, fourth is 100 mbbs, fifth is 20G, remember only this. Remember only this, first one is voice, second one is voice plus data, third is third is voice plus video conferencing plus video, fourth is VR, fifth is some things you have to remember exam point of, if you want to really clear prelims, some things you have to, you have to read out of the box, for example, there are some programs of government of India like Bharat Net national optical fiber network, national telecom policy, national digital communication policy 2018, forum to develop 5G roadmap, what are those? Do you know? One question will be from current affairs, this committee is studied which subject? Such type of questions are there? In prelims, one question will be compulsory, this committee studied? Which committee? Like what Rangarajan committee studied what? Narayana Swami committee studied what? In the same way, there is one committee which is very popular committee which is called as AJ Paul Raj committee studied 5G technology. One by one, one by one, one by one, number one. Bharat Net. Remember only the one thing. Bharat Net to all households all households internet connectivity established in 2017 to provide digital infrastructure to all households bharatnet to all households national optical fiber network gram panchayats digital infrastructure to gram panchayats bharatnet to whom all the households national optical fiber network to whom all gram panchayats, digital infrastructure, digital infrastructure means not wireless, digital infrastructure means what? Broadband, two, third, there is a policy which is called as national telecom policy 2018. This telecom policy discussed about introducing 5G technology. 5G technology was introduced into India by which policy? National telecom policy of 2018. What it told? 100% teledensity, high speed internet highways and delivery of citizen centric services electronically. Why? Because it is a government policy. So, citizen centric service delivery electronically is also part of it. But 100% teledensity, what is 100% teledensity? Everyone should have mobile phone who are adults and there should be mobile connectivity in every phone. It is called as 100% teledensity. In this context, I will tell you one example. Nasdaq Telecom Policy 2018, they have this. In 2013, Government of India, Manmohan Singh Government, they also want to increase mobile penetration. At the time, one month validity, at the time we used to buy talk time or unlimited? Talk time we used to buy. 100 rupees, 86 rupees talk time. Costly or less rate? 100 rupees 86 talk time 
149 rupees unlimited talk time which is costly 100 rupees 84 rupees 86 rupees is the talk time that was the prices at that time so 2013 raja who was a minister of communication and technology he came up with an idea called as first come first serve we will give this government natural resources spectrum free of cost to everyone to mobile service provider so that everyone will have frequency of bands so that they can give it at a cheaper cost to the people so what will happen people will buy sim cards when people buy sim cards they will use mobile so mobile penetration will increase but there is some corruption involved that particular penetration of mobile if phones become cheaper whether the penetration will increase or decrease increase mobile penetration will increase so we didn't reach that 2013 why because the government cancelled it because of the scam which was involved so again in 2018 narendra modi government came up with a national telecom policy 100% mobile penetration or tele density national digital communication policy 2018 highlights the importance of 5g when it states that the convergence of clusters so startups empowering startups using of internet of things so there is one particular national digital communication policy 2018 forum to develop 5g also which committee recommended studied on 5g only one committee till date what is that committee ag aj all now you tell me bharatnet all households national optical fiber network gram panchayat national telecom policy 2018 100% tele density 100% india's national digital communication policy mainly to help startups forum to develop 5g how to have a 5g network and aj paul raj mainly to study on 5g next you know if you are aware if you are reading newspaper ott full form ott full form see teacher anywhere the teacher responsibility there is no good teacher or no bad teacher no teacher can do any magic it's our future first we should also study what is o ott tell me ott open your mobile phone see in mobile amazon on the lad you prime prime on the and lo ప్రైమ్ ఉందా ఆహా ఉందా ప్రైమ్ ఉన్నా ప్రైమ్ ఆహా నెట్ఫ్లిక్స్ ఈజ్ ఆల్ ఆర్ వాట్ వట్ ఓవర్ ద టాప్ సో ఇఫ్ యూ ఆర్ యూ అవేర్ వాట్ హ్యాపెన్ వన్ ఇయర్ బ్యాక్ వన్ ఇయర్ బ్యాక్ వాట్ హ్యాపెన్ ఇన్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద ఓటీటి లార్డ్ శివా లార్డ్ శివా వాజ్ బిన్ షోన్ ఇన్ ఎ డెరోగేటరీ వే లార్డ్ శివా వాజ్ బిన్ షోన్ ఇన్ ఎ డెరోగేటరీ వే సో వాట్ హ్యాపెన్ ఇట్ బికేమ్ ఎ వెరీ బిగ్ ఇష్యూ as the bjp government was been there it started controlling over the top so then came this particular rules called as information technology intermediary guidelines and digital media ethics code rules of 2021 it rules of 2021 what are the rules number 1 what are the rules social media to exercise greater diligence social media should be controlled number 1 social media need to be controlled number 2 establish a grievance officer for every social media like facebook like instagram there will be a grievance officer if i feel anything negative then i will submit a complaint with grievance officer so there will be a grievance officer first point is social media regulations so not only ott social media also under control social media is regulated now they should maintain a greater diligence number 2 there will be a grievance officer there will be privacy policies of social media what is that i will tell you now onwards i am giving my gmail id i am giving my phone number i am giving my names and all i am giving up my all details these rules are coming to force very soon there will be an option accept or not whether that particular platform want to use my data yes or no in our mobile phone we will get no allow not allow block allow allow means yes you can use my data don't allow means you should not use my data if i tell allow means you will use my data and you it will become a data 
so they can sell it for any other person so here for the first time in this internet rules what it came means our data cannot be used without our permission we have to give the permission externally so when we when i give my permission externally then only he can use my data whether this system was there earlier you see your mobile phone now it is not there now when this rule is going to come into action my data will be used my data will be used with my permission means my phone number or my gmail id will be used with the permission of me if not data theft is happening my data is going to other people so these are the with respect to social media there is greater diligence a grievance officer privacy policies grievance appellate committee social media if any a hate speech is coming in the social media now it's the responsibility of the service provider or that social media platform to find where it got originated so first originator identifying first originator of the content new rules up to now no such rules now hate speech came commenting one particular prophet mohammed prophet or commenting one particular lord or commenting one particular lord shiva etc etc it's spreading 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 if i forward to you it doesn't mean that i did a mistake so there might be a person who originated it so it's the responsibility of the social media platform to find the originator appoint a grievance officer file monthly complaints this is with respect to social media prelims point of view these are very very important number 1 is greater diligence number 2 is grievance officer number 3 is privacy policy number 4 is appellate committee number 5 is first originator that social media to identify first identifier similarly ott platform now ott platform will give self certification five are there ott platforms five are there adult universal universal and adult like universal universal adult universal 13 plus universal adult 16 plus and adult so in our every ott which they are giving now onwards means after this particular rules are coming into action the certificates will be five which are self certified by themselves number 1 number 2 very important three level grievance redressal committees are there three levels first level second level third level first level what is first level by the company itself the company itself will have a grievance redressal mechanism that first they will see that watch first they will see that movie any obscenes are there or any religious sentiments are hurted or any unity and integrity and sovereignty of the country is hurted first that platform will have their own body second press council of india will act like a regulatory body whereby the former supreme court judge or a chief justice of high court will be acting like the head second press council of india body will be there it will be checking the video third joint secretary joint secretary level officer one committee will be there that will be the last level of auditing so three audit will be there if there is any complaint on any video on the ott number one is inside number two is press council of india by a judge third is <coughs> so every ott video which is complained every ott self certifying five certificates u a u a plus 13 plus 16 plus and first level second level third level prelims point of view according to the new rules according to the new rules see all almost all the 2022 and 2023 technology related things i covered here okay ah uh, what is the first level first level is company platform second level is press council third level is joint secretary level five self certification as well as finally we will have a grievance officer based in india if any platform for example netflix we will see hollywood movies we will see hollywood movies so those movies which are into the netflix a local india officer will be there he will be checking each and every video and he will be telling whether any sentiments are hurted or not so this is with respect to ott this is with respect to social media for social media what 
What social media number one? Diligence, greater diligence. Number two, they have to maintain greater diligence. Number two, grievance redressal officer. Third, privacy policy. Fourth, appellate committee. Next, originating. Where first originator. These are the five things which are present in this IT rules. Coming to OTT. Number one, certification. How many certifications are there? Five. Second is audit. How many levels of audit are there? Three levels. First is internal. Second is press council of India. Third is next. Last is for any video which is coming from cross border, there will be a grievance officer. This is about how OTTs are controlled, how social media are controlled, how OTTs are controlled, how social media are Personal Data Protection Bill 2019. Sir, it is 2019 now. It is still pending. Communication technology. What is the biggest threat because of communication technology? The biggest threat is data theft. Cyber crimes. If your password, if you think your password is nothing, it will, it will, it will create havoc in your life. Irreversible problems you will face. If you think I have password only, you know. Finish. Data protection. Data protection means not only name. Data protection means not only mobile phone, number, not only email ID. Your passwords are also your data protection. Your OTP is also data protection. I am telling you, you know, every individual is prone to cyber crime nowadays. Every individual. Every individual should have knowledge on cyber crime. Every recently I visited one here, Cyberabad Crime Police Station is there, very big DCP office. I visited very recently. You know, they are telling the number of cases lodged in police stations are less, and the number of cases lodged in cyber police stations are 10 times more. It's one lady came beside me. She is housewife, she had some conflict with her husband, so she thought she will earn money. So she was searching, one person told that. Nothing you have to do, you have to just promote this video in your social platforms. Then she promoted, he gave 1000 rupees. She felt very happy, you to give me more work. Then he told that more you promote, you such that more status, more views should come. Then he gave 5000 rupees. She was very much interested, she told that next what I have to do. Second thing is there, but for that investment is required. Very big thing is there for that investment is required. I want one lakh fifty thousand. It will double within ten days. Sure, she gave one lakh fifteen thousand. One telegram group there is telegram. She transferred the telegram channel was been banned, closed. That person phone number blocked. No one is there. She came <laughs> with her husband. Then that cop is very intelligent. Now you came with your husband, no? Cyber crimes, every individual is vulnerable. Every individual. So, for that, we need to have protection of data. So, prelims point of view. Personal data protection bill was been constituted on the recommendations of Sri Krishna committee. First point. On the recommendations of which committee this personal data protection bill came into existence? This fact is important, number one. Number two. Now onwards, the data which is generated in India cannot travel overseas. Means the data centers should be in India, which is called as data localization. So, the data banks which keep the data of the Indian citizens should be located in India. Earlier, this data would be stored in foreign countries. This bill is telling that India's data should be stored only in it divided the data into three things. One is personal data, sensitive personal data and critical personal data. Personal data, phone number, sensitive personal data like what? OTPs, passwords, critical sensitive data like sexual orientation, lesbians, gays. So, the data is divided into three. One is personal data, sensitive data, critical data. Next factual. So, what are the provisions of? Data protection. 
it mandates data fiduciaries to provide the government with any non personal data when divided data fiduciary you have gmail account now your phone number your email id is with whom google so who is having your data that person is called that company is called as data fiduciaries for example if i take your all phone numbers your all email ids and keep with me i am data fiduciary i am data fiduciary for example what if you fill the form of the institute your schooling your date of birth your college your hobbies your percentage these all are sensitive data in google we will keep passwords no mother name father name which curry you like this type of questions will be there by this questions answering these questions whether i can enter into your instagram whether i can enter into your google i can enter into your google so that company which is having this sensitive information are called as data fiduciaries so now this protection of personal data protection bill is telling that when the government ask the data fiduciaries for the non personal data what is non personal data like hobbies like educational details now who should provide it data fiduciaries so who is becoming super powerful now government there is a chance that government can also misuse like what at the time of elections at the time of elections government will be having the data so they can misuse the data so government is becoming sovereign with respect to the data which is present with data fiduciaries so it man that is negative but provision is what is the provision when the government demands the data non personal data with the data fiduciary the data fiduciary should give the data next who is data fiduciary who is a service provider is called as data fiduciary non personal data like hobbies educational details is called as there will be data protection authority envisage for ensuring compliance of the law right to be forgotten sometimes sometimes what happens you know when you forgot the data when you when you tell that i don't have my data you cannot force me to ask the data right to be forgotten so when you ask me data like my blood group 50% of the people doesn't know what is your blood group i am sure right to be forgotten these are the provisions of data protection bill the most important provisions number 1 data number 1 starting from beginning data localization the data will be stored in india it should not cross the border number 1 number 2 three types personal data sensitive data critical data next ha huh? data fiduciaries when demanded by the government the data fiduciary should give the data next data protection authority so there will be a wholesale wholesome authority will be there which will be controlling the data in every country there will be for india there will be data protection authority like sebi like rbi like ird these are the five points which are present with respect to personal data protection to the point to the here entertainment will not be there to the point this type of questions will come next national policy on electronics 2019 whether it is related to technology or not electronics technology india should become up of electronics why you tell me in your economics you studied india is importing not only oil not only gold but also electronics whether electronic goods like tv refrigerators washing machines they are made indigenously or whether we are importing it lg sony samsung which countries which companies these are foreign companies no very indigenous companies there no no indi videocon is also not indigenous company so we all are we all are importing it so now this national policy on electronics 2019 is telling that india should become an hub of esdm which is called as electronic system design and manufacturing electronic system design and manufacturing number 2 achieving a turnover of remember this achieving a turnover of 400 billion dollars by the year 2025 while generating employment opportunities for 1 crore people 1 billion mobile handsets in india by year 2025 we have to produce 1 billion handsets by the year 2025 targets it requires creation of sovereign patent fund 
what will happen when patent fund patent will be protected when patents are protected whether innovation will increase or decrease when patents are protected whether innovation will increase or innovation will decrease increase electronics is innovation so these are the national policy on number 1 electronic systems of design and manufacturing number 2 a global hub number 2 400 billion dollars of for the electronic sector by the year 2020 this much market should be created number 3 1 billion mobile handsets 1 crore employment last national broadband mission this all after new government came into picture 2019 onwards for your prelims what you do you read only those government schemes after 2019 new government schemes after 2019 same government but what added newly those you read national broadband mission what is this national broadband mission across india we need to have digital infrastructure is the main mission of national broadband prelims point of view who is funding it universal service obligation fund universal service obligation usof universal service obligation fund he is pumping the money for what broadband mission means broadband mission is going to get the fund from universal service obligation fund electronic education electronic banking so everywhere the electronic will happen when there is broadband connectivity so for broadband connectivity where the funds are coming from the funds are coming from universal service obligation Ex what is this us of exclusive budget allocation at the time of budget for in ministry of electronics and information technology that is universal service obligation fund prime minister wani what is this prime minister wani w a n i wifi access network wifi access network interface you know once upon a time we have pco 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 yellow color box pco telephone booth telephone booth a person will be sitting we will go we used to call then he used to ask us money pco for phone for making calls same like pco now there will be a public platforms park or a separate a separate house a separate area where i will go and i will ask i want to access wifi please come inside 10 rupees so now how the pc was are there now there will be public interfaces for wifi which will be promoted by government which will be promoted by government that is the main intention of pm wani so same like how pc was we have for telephones now we will have pc was for wifi public data office aggregators very important no requirement for the license registration or any other fees anyone i can also now i can go down and i can tell that wifi wifi then 10 rupees that is called as prime minister wani pm wani same like pc was now we have what public data office it is called as what pco it is called as pdo public data office new scheme public wifi but very dangerous very 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 vulnerable very vulnerable if you go for this type of public wifi if you go for if you open your gmail for five times sixth time it will be hacked you should not open in public wifi dg logger prelims point of view answer me this is a digital locker system of offered by the government under digital india program it allows you to access your electronic documents irrespective of your physical location answer is it is called as digital locker it is digi locker 
next national digital communication policy 2018 we have three things under national digital communication policy 2018 one is connect india propel india secure india connect india means everyone should have internet connect india everyone should have internet propel india increase ambit connect india with internet and that connectivity should be with everyone propel india third that should be secured why because chance of cyber crimes through things number 1 is connect india number 2 is propel india number 3 is these three things are part of national digital communication policy 2018 first one is connect propel secure under connect national broadband mission which is called as rashtriya broadband abhiyan provide universal broadband connectivity at 50 mbps to every citizen by 2022 didn't reach prelims point of view 2022 we completed we completed so what is that scheme name called as national broadband mission to connect every citizen with internet to connect every citizen with internet either wireless or wired number 1 but mainly it is with respect to wireless one wifi broadband bharatnet bharatnet gram panchayat there are two indias are there one is called as bharat other is called as india bharat means what you have i by the time you should be knowing this we we call, we call it as two indias one is urban india other is rural india rural india is called as bharat urban india is called as india so bharatnet means providing broadband connection to gram panchayats bharat net gram net bharat net project for all households bar one gbps connectivity to all gram panchayats of india by 2020 and by 2022 this is by small difference will be there was established to provide digital infrastructure at non discriminatory basis affordable broadband to mbps this is paid for all households this is paid for all households provide 1 gbps connectivity to all gram panchayat across it means tribal india desert area hilly area all areas need to be connected by bharat net but in within that bharat net compulsory gram panchayat should be provided with 1 gbps bharat net So, so there will be no confusion sometimes all households 50 mbps gram panchayat 1 gbps remember like this 50 mbps all households 1 gbps gram panchayat bharat net gram net all key rural development institutions what are rural development institutions gram panchayat offices all gram panchayat offices compulsory should have a broadband connectivity under gram net small small differences all rural development institutions need to be connected by internet broadband internet scheme name gram net 1 gbps all gram panchayat bharat net across india with 50 mbps bharat net nagar net 1 million public wifi hotspots what is that nagar net in urban areas how many 1 million 1 million means how much 10 lakhs 10 lakhs public wifi hotspots under nagar net like railway stations jan wi wifi 2 million means 20 lakhs wifi hotspots in rural jan wifi nagar net gram net bharat net bharat net to are there 50 mbps across india 1 gbps only gram panchayat gram net key rural development institutions gram panchayat third nagar net 1 million hotspots public wifi hotspots next gen wifi rural 2 million rural public wifi spots hotspots in rural areas public wifi hotspots in that is jan net jan net nagar net gram net bharat net national broadband mission broadband mission is complete connectivity fiber first initiative everything will be fiber not only wireless there should be broadband connectivity also 
national digital grid by national fiber authority so there will be a digital grid will be there the digital grid will be connecting across india these are all part of what connect india next is propel india in propel india investments of us dollar 500 billions globally recognized intellectual property rights train reskill so propelling these are main important schemes but in this prelims point of view one is first one is connect propel secure secure mainly net neutrality what is net neutrality it was in news earlier net neutrality anyone online net neutrality uh, very good net neutrality is simple some people are having more internet connectivity some people are not having internet connectivity there should not be discrimination internet is a neutral thing everyone should have accessibility to the internet that is called as net neutrality one section of people should not have more internet one section of people should not know internet everyone should know internet internet is a neutral thing with respect to secure everyone should have internet and that internet should be safe is part of secure india so one is called as connect second is called as propel third is called as deep learning and machine learning understand this little bit more into the concept understand this machine learning means machine itself will identify and machine itself will conclude is called as machine learning this much temperature is there for 22 temperature is 20 degree, degree centigrade is there so this machine will operate only at a 18 degree centigrade if it goes not not because of problem it identifies that this temperature is not suitable to me and automatically it goes it is called as machine learning without me operating this machine should work only at 18 degree centigrade but now the temperature is 22 degree centigrade so it should work only at 18 degree centigrade so 18 degree centigrade should work but now the temperature is 22 degree centigrade if i work more it will collapse so without my interface this without any problem as a warning it shut down itself as a warning it shut down itself so that no problem will happen to this particular device so machine itself is learning and showing the conclusion is called as machine learning deep learning means automation will happen inside every machine automation will happen in every machine like you can operate at 18 degrees but it is 22 degrees no problem you can continue if it is more than 27 degrees only you have to shut down by yourself deep learning means the program is designed within the machines is part of deep learning means without any human interface minimal also the machine itself will be understanding and delivering the output is called as deep learning for example for example your gmail account i opened in this laptop your gmail account i opened in this laptop or some, your phone you, you i got your phone if i am entering that passcode number five times i pressed a passcode number then it will tell that open after one hour it will not allow for further if i again i do what it will tell open after two hours now it will give a chance that two hours again if you did not enter it will become 24 hours yes or no who told this who told this a program is created the machine itself is understanding the machine itself is giving an output that is called as deep learning more than artificial intelligence is called as deep learning it is called as artificial neural networks it is called as artificial neural networks for example earlier you went on a bike and you fallen down your mother came to know now at night time you are asking for bike your mother is a machine 
now your mother herself will understand and she will give an output that no already you had a bad experience now i will not give the bike so machine itself is understanding already vulnerability has been increased so i stopped your mobile phone from decoding for another 2 hours so mobile phone itself is understood something wrong thing is happening and it stopped that is called as artificial artificial neural networks which is popularly called as which is more than artificial artificial intelligence will do according to the program deep learning will be going more than the program understanding the vulnerability and it will stop it is called as deep learning so if i am opening your gmail account in my laptop whether i am opening here in your mobile phone you will get a mail or not someone opened your gmail account that primary phone number will be there no primary phone to that primary phone whether you will get a mail or not deep learning if you are then neglect it if you are not then secure your account you will get it or not it is called as deep learning now everything is this only now everything is technology if you become an ips officer compulsory you will become a cyber security in one point of time you have to work in cyber security i believe that after 4 years when you go into the operations compulsory everything will be cyber only key difference understand this key difference between deep learning and machine learning machine learning means artificial intelligence is data is presented to the system machine learning algorithms almost always require structured data whereas deep learning networks on layers of the artificial intelligence means machine learning is only artificial intelligence mainly depends upon automation mainly depends upon algorithm but deep learning it creates itself it understand itself someone is opening if he is really if that person is opening it should open but it is not opening means some scam some fraudster if not he know the password not at least one second time it should open second time also it is not opening means automation will warning that is called as deep learning prelims point of view important g20 osaka summit which happened in 2019 underscored the significance of digital economy and artificial intelligence he emphasized the government reliance on five i's which is inclusiveness indigenization innovation investment in infrastructure and international cooperation in developing ment of this two what are the two deep learning and artificial intelligence so in osaka five eyes were been emphasized what are the five eyes inclusiveness means everyone should have the accessibility of internet number two number two indigenization locally artificial intelligence should be made locally number three innovation number four investment number five international cooperation G20 Osaka summit declaration about what five eyes G20 Osaka declaration of 2019 is about what prelims point of view mainly with respect to deep learning and machine learning machine learning means artificial intelligence artificial intelligence chatbots you are coming across this chatbots match the following microsoft chatbot is bing open artificial intelligence open ai itself is a one company which is also funded by microsoft it is called a chat gpt third bard of google we have three artificial intelligence chatbot what is the chatbot sir we will see when we open any website one person will come hey a girl will be there Hey, hey, yes. How are you? How do you do? But same message will come. Are your phone number, please. Same message will come. What you are, what you are requesting for? I am requesting for your phone number. Still the same will come. Means who is chatting there? Chatbot. Who is? It is chatbot. Now we created chatbot whereby. if i ask a question through my voice if i ask a question by by chat i am getting an answer in the form of a description essay answer i am getting for example i am unable to understand this quantum mechanics what is this quantum mechanics 
it will give a very big answer what type of answer not a copy paste answer answer which is synthesized which is made by a man like that answer will come that is chat bot ai chat bot ai you no need to go into the deeper but understand only this thing any question which is asked i will get an answer which is analyzed in local language according to the local situation that answer which is understandable to the layman language that is called a chat ai so three AI, ai's are established up to now one is bing of microsoft chat gpt of open ai bard of google pre trained transformer and this kind of computer language model that relies on deep learning trained to predict what will come next and what's why one can technically have a conversation with a chatbot for example i will tell you see see this you will understand everything bard of which company google chat gpt of open ai which is also funded by microsoft these are the two competitors bing is not competitor bing is not competitor these are the two competitors language language model for dialogue application lambda is used here gpt3 language model is used language model algorithm which is used source of information very important bard will be using the source of information from internet chat gpt will be using the information with already which is loaded inside data fed means the data which is fed from that only what is relevant will be taken by the chat gpt whereas bard will be taking the data from internet means if i ask a question it will go inside internet it will open google it will only ask the question it will only get the answer and that answer it will synthesize and will give to us bard if i ask a question with chat gpt it will synthesize the question it will it will, it will analyze the answer and will give the answer from data which is already fed information cut any information i can ask where in bard why because it depend upon internet here only till 2021 if i ask a question on 2022 it will not give answer why because it is giving answer which is data which is fourth limited unlimited unlimited with respect to what the data which is fed from that unlimited i can ask sometimes it cannot limitations biases of internet biases of data some people are having internet some people are not having internet here some data is provided some data is not provided this is a major difference between bard and chat gpt every day it is in the news chat gpt chat gpt in simple language i am telling you chat gpt means a question which is asked like what is the procedure for the appointment of president in india or what is the procedure for election of president in india it will go inside machine learning it will go into the deeper layers it will synthesize the content and it will give us answer in a point wise answer president by this constitution in this article the president is elected in this procedure recently this president was been there from where it is taking the data bard from internet from where the chat gpt is taking the data data that is a major difference between bard and chat gpt any doubts online yes yes attend ah google chat is also present bard is also present with microsoft chat gpt is also present with google but those are made by whom bard is made by the google who is the owner of bard is google who is the owner of chat gpt means open ai which is also funded by microsoft darknet which is which is very dangerous darknet see this diagram we know facebook we know google we know twitter we know yahoo this is the internet which we know there is lot of internet which we don't know arms and ammunition organized crime money laundering prostitution drugs mainly drugs drug abuse drug cartels will be happening under beneath we cannot access in google we cannot access through microsoft we cannot access so that internet which we cannot access is a part of dark 
that internet which is completely hidden is called as dark net or dark web terrorism to open it there is a need for separate softwares like onion one one software is there that we have to have dark web content on dark net is encrypted and requires a specific browser such as the onion ring it will not open anywhere mainly terrorists drug cartels organized crime people will be using this dark net only 5% of the internet the people know 95% of the internet people doesn't know so that internet is dark net that internet is dark web prelims point of view how to tell one point this is very important point hydra market the dark net which is run by russia was been recently banned by germany they caught it and they stopped shut down it hydra market which is in the news hydra market germany has shut down russia linked hydra market world's biggest and oldest dark net marketplace of illegal items and services hydra market dark web of russia is been shut down by germany it was in the news prelims point of view hydra market some terms some some unique terms dark net or dark web both are deep fakes deep fakes fake news you know about fake news you know about fake news where the information which is misleading wrong information disinformation mal information is called as fake news what is this deep fake sometimes actress faces will be removed actor faces will be removed which will be encrypted it is fake but showcased as original that is called as deep fakes actress faces will be added actress faces will be removed some other person face will be added some other face, that, that is part of deep fakes it's common or not now it is common within four within four years now it will become part of life every individual will suffer with this every individual will suffer with this every man is under surveillance now 100% sure in facebook we will get message hey the dp will be so hey i got message usually i will not get message from my own sister only someone is messaging me he is like, yes what do you want i want to chat with you this person oh, oh. <laughs> deep fakes every individual experienced it deep fakes which is not which is showcased it deep fakes deep learning plus fake synthetic media in which a person in an existing image or video is replaced with someone else it is called as deep fakes powerful mechanics from machine learning and artificial intelligence to manipulate or generate visual and audio content with high potential to deceive is part of deep fakes prelims point of view deep fakes is in news it is about what it is about fake news it is not about fake news it is creating fake with respect to not the original content is called as deep fakes any of fake news you know metaverse metaverse which is a combination of augmented reality and virtual reality i will go into some virtuality more than virtuality 3d glasses Elon Musk recently told that now there is a very big market for metaverse. Now how many glasses are there? So many 3D glasses will come into the picture within one decade. So now we have to open up business in that 3D glasses metaverse, which is a combination of augmented reality and virtual reality. Extension of our real world into digital realm, providing an immersive multi-user experience. Accessing this virtual world requires internet and digital devices. The technology behind this virtual reality and augmented reality, the growth of digital India is accelerated by this metaverse. Prelims point of view. PM STIAC, which is called as Prime Minister Science and Technology Innovation Advisory Council, has come up with nine missions. Remember this. Come up with nine missions. 
natural language translation whether upsc content is available in telugu no very less content is available upsc content is not available in telugu or not in kannada also content most of the content is present in which language english so next demand will be what those who want to write in telugu they want this english to be translated into natural language translation one mission everything whatever is present in english need to be converted into indigenous language whatever is present in indigenous language need to be converted into english natural language translation mission mission number 2 quantum see whether it's manually possible whether we have google translation now but google translation is completely different we want something more for example i will tell you 2011 group 1 i think so 2011 group 1 question paper it is about reality shows the question is about reality shows in telugu google translation they did it showed pratyaksha prasaralu pratyaksha prasaralu ante live pratyaksha prasar live cricket reality shows means big boss so people children are are disturbed because of reality shows or live shows reality shows so the question is about reality shows but the google translation is made it as everyone wrote about cricket everyone wrote about live live thing live thing but it is not live thing it is what reality so google translation is impossible so we want a mechanism so that the translation should be exact sir for that we have a machine called as natural language number 2 quantum frontiers next class i will discuss about quantum mechanics third artificial intelligence fourth national biodiversity mission fifth electric vehicles bioscience for human health waste to wealth deep ocean exploration for what rare earth metals ninth accelerating growth of new india's innovation on innovation on deep ocean waste to wealth bioscience electric vehicles national biodiversity mission artificial intelligence quantum frontiers and national language these are the nine missions but only four missions are approved by the government of india as of now those are national language translation artificial intelligence quantum frontier missions have been approved and deep ocean mission prelims point of view prime minister science and technology and innovation policy came up with how many missions nine missions what are those missions prelims point of which of the following is not which of the following mission is not part of prime minister science and technology innovation advisory council nine missions number one is natural language translation number two is quantum frontiers number three is artificial intelligence fourth is biodiversity fifth is electric vehicle six is biodiversity mission seventh is waste to wealth deep ocean innovation what is approved deep ocean a quantum natural language translation these are approved as of now more five need to be approved cloud computing last cloud computing what is cloud computing your gmails are look where it is storing cloud your facebook account photos where they are storing cloud cloud is more vulnerable this one here only it is your photos and everything cloud computing all the platforms are cloud computing but some videos they will keep it in the servers like youtube etc they will be keeping in cloud computing is open source cloud computing is an example of open source this is what this is what about so what we discussed today number 1 first topic was online people first first topic web 3.0 second is national strategy on blockchain technology next is internet of things next is cryptocurrency next is near field communications nfc and rfid next is 5g technology and varieties of 5g technology we have schemes also bharat net across 50 mbps only gram panchayats 
वन जी बी पी एस फर्स्ट जनरेशन इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी रूल्स ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन सोशल मीडिया एंड ओ टी टी पर्सनल डाटा प्रोडक्शन बिल टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन विच इज पेंडिंग टिल डेट नेशनल पॉलिसी एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक ई एस डी एम इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सिस्टम डिजाइन एंड मैन्युफैक्चरिंग नेशनल ब्रॉडबैंड मिशन प्राइम मिनिस्टर वाणी डिजिटल लॉकर प्रिलिंग वन क्वेश्चन भी डिस्कस डिजिटल कम्युनिकेशन पॉलिसी डिजिटल कम्युनिकेशन पॉलिसी थ्री वन इज कनेक्ट इंडिया प्रोपल इंडिया सिक्योर इंडिया डीप लर्निंग एंड मशीन लर्निंग ए चार्ट बॉट्स हाउ दिस चार्ट बॉट्स विल वर्क आई टोल्ड यू बाशिनी इज नथिंग बाशिनी इज ऑफ इंडिया दिस इज इनोवेशन ऑफ इंडिया बाशिनी ए ग्रुप ऑफ पीपल इन व्हाट्सअप वी विल बी गिविंग अवर वॉइस मैसेज इन लोकल लैंग्वेज इट विल सिंथसाइज and will give answer in local language through whatsapp platform it is called as bashini chat bot only chat gpt only but through whatsapp mechanism it is who a group of people a platform which is called as bashini has created this interface that is bashini by indians then bard versus chat gpt darknet deep fix meta verse and finally Prime Ministers, Science, Technology, Innovation Advisory Council, and Cloud Computing. Such type of questions they are asking. I showed you in the previous questions also. But this is static, fixed. If you know, you will get marks. Chance of getting negative marks will be very less. If you know, you will get marks. If you don't know, you should not attempt only S N T. The benefit of S N T is if you know, you have to attempt. If you don't know, you cannot. not like quality not like economy history if you know you can if you don't know you cannot guess snt you cannot guess why because fixed technology technology is fixed charging is there mobile phone will function if charging is not there it will not function if anything you do it will not function static next class i will discuss about quantum mechanics then i will go into some defense related weapons which are most important which are strategically important why upsc should ask only those i will take and i will discuss okay